Jason, thank you so much for sort of spending time with us uh, and talking about MSA at Intersect 2022. Uh, give us a, a brief overview and a rundown of uh, why the Middle East market is so important for MSA and, and how your systems have sort of come together for the show. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me here today. We're uh, excited about the opportunities here in the Middle East. It's a really critical market for us, both on the industrial side and, uh, and the fire service side. When we look at uh, this region, we have a, a long history here. MSA has been uh, had a footprint in the region for, uh, for many years, and we see a, a really bright future. When we look at fire service specifically, and since the acquisition of Bristol Uniforms, uh, in early 2021, we've made investments in the region. We've been able to uh, bring new salespeople onto the team. And you know, with Bristol, we now have both an EN and an NFPA uh, helmet offering. We have fire protective clothing that's both NFPA and EN, uh, obviously breathing apparatus that are NFPA and EN. So we feel like we're really uniquely uh, positioned to really serve this market, to be able to, to look at the individual countries and design products that are really designed together as a system and, uh, and bring forward the, uh, the unmet needs for the customers in the region. So it's something we're very excited about. You, you spoke about the acquisition of Bristol Uniforms, but that's not all that you've done. You've also done a fair bit in the drone and the technology space. Do you want to touch a bit on sort of the other areas that you've invested in, especially from a technological standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. When we look at uh, emerging technologies and fire ground, uh, information. Drones were an area that, that have been of interest to MSA. We identified a strategic partner in Photokite, and uh, Photokite's a company that we were able to make a strategic investment in in 2021. So we're now uh, co-developing products with, uh, with Photokite, being able to bring them into our fire ground management system, the fire grid, and, uh, and we're excited about what that can bring, both in terms of uh, a visual of, of the scene, but also thermal imaging, being able to share data. It's a tethered drone, so it's always always powered. It ha doesn't require an independent pilot, and, uh, and it's very simple to set up uh, and provides a ton of information, not only on scene, but afterwards for training and understanding how, how the uh, firefighters reacted to the, the situation. That's brilliant. That's sort of using technology as well and moving into the, uh, the, the well, the 22nd century, <laughs> the 2022, literally. Um, so speaking about 2022 and Intersec, uh, where we are right now, how does the year look ahead for you? What's the pipeline looking like? What's the business looking like for this year? Uh, not just in this region, perhaps uh, the rest of the world as well. Yeah, I think we're really, really positive of, you know, coming out of a, a difficult time, both in the end of 2020 and, uh, and through 2021 with restrictions related to the pandemic, uh, we feel like we're now able to, to understand you know, how, how to best work within the constraints that we have, uh, engage with our customers both virtually and, and in person. So it's great to be here at a, at a trade show again and, and engaging with our, our end users, our channel partners. So we're really excited about 2022, the prospects that uh, that it brings, the pipeline of, of business and opportunities that we see. Things were delayed because of, uh, of the challenges of the last 18 months. And we think a lot of that business will be uh, available and, and things that we can, can engage with in, uh, in 22. So we're, we're very, very uh, optimistic about where we're going in, uh, in the region and beyond. Brilliant, thank you so much and we wish you a good 2022. Thank you so much. No, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Take care. Thanks.